hey guys welcome back to this channel in this video i am going to show you how we can install python and how we can set up python development environment on visual studio code editor so i am going to go step by step so first of all i am going to show you how we can install python in our pc and then i am going to show you how we can install our ide means vs code and then i am going to show you how we can set up python on visual studio code you can skip this installation step if you already installed vs code and python you can directly go to the integration step so for installing python we just need to search python and the first link which will appear here will be from python.org i am going to click that link and here we can see the download section and version i want to download here is 3.10.0 which is the latest version so i am going to click on that and we are going to the download page so inside the download page i am going to scroll down a little bit and then here we can see different file format for installing python on our windows operating system so what i am going to choose is the one which is windows installer so just choose the version windows installer 64 bit right now once this executable file is downloaded we are going to just install it like a normal executable file so now this file is downloaded so i am going to click on this executable file let me just minimize the browser so now the python installation wizard has been started and you can see this default location where python will be installed and in order to add python path to our environment variable you just need to check this option which says add python 3.10.0 to path now i would like to install python in a different path because this is a little bit confusing path for me so this will be installed in my app data local program python then python 3.10 right so we'll just want to change the location so i will just select customize installation for me most of people prefer default location and that's okay for them also okay and here i will just leave everything as default and click next here and this is what i wanted to change so i just wanted to install python in my c directory so i will just remove everything from here and then i wanted to make this directory python and inside this directory i wanted to install the python right so first of all c and i'm going to just create a new directory here or we can say a folder here with the name of python and then i will press enter so the directory is created and then inside my python i will just click install this will going to start the installation for my python 3.10 right so i can see this message which say setup was successfully that means python installed successfully in our system so i am going to just click close and i am going to go to my startup menu and uh, here we can see python idle is installed and then python 3.10 module and then python manual installed and you can see python 3.10 command line is also installed our system right so what i will do is i will just click on this option which is python 3.10 64-bit and you can see python terminal is started right so i can just write uh, print the hello world and then press enter which is going to print hello world for me now one thing i want to do is i want to set my environment variable for python so we'll go inside my python directory inside my python directory i will go inside my python 3.10 directory and then i will just copy this path and then once again right click on the start menu and then i will just go to the system here and once the system settings open i will just go to advanced system setting and in the advanced system setting environment variable and here i am going to change variable to the path 
so i will just select the path system variable and i will say add it and then i will say new and then paste this path which is i have copied which is c backslash python backslash python 3.10 and then press enter click ok ok and then click ok which is going to set my python path in environment variable right now i want to open the command prompt and just validate if python is set successfully so i am going to just open the command prompt and here i just write python and then press enter and you can see python 3.10.0 version is installed and i can see python command line here so once everything is set we are ready to install our visual studio code so just search for the visual studio code and the first link which will be appear here will be from code.visualstudio.com so i am going to click on this link so you can see this option which says download for windows and once you click on this button you will see that windows 64 bit option and i want to install the installer so just press the button just point of installer is going to download the installer which is visual studio code installer for you which is executable file so now the visual studio code uh, exe is downloaded on our system so i am going to click on this and then i am going to minimize the browser which is going to start the installer i will just click next and agree the term and condition and this will be the default location i don't want to change it so click next and then click next and once again next if you want to create desktop icon then check on this option and i am going to click next and then click install which is going to start installing the visual studio code it's really straightforward process so you don't have to worry about it so now visual studio code is installed on my windows operating system so i will just leave this checkbox checked which is going to launch my visual studio code and i am going to click finish which is going to start visual studio code on my windows 10 operating system and now you can see visual studio code has been started on my windows operating system and if you are not familiar with the visual studio code here is where you can will edit your file so when you click on this option you will be able to open a, any folder of your choice or you can create a new folder this is the search option so if you want to search inside the folder some files some word you can search using this search option this is for git integration or source code integration for example version controlling or and other things right fourth option is for debugging and then after fourth the fifth option is for installing extensions right so what i'm going to do is i am going to click on this extension option which is the fifth option so click on this extension option and here search for python okay so search for python most probably the first result which will appear here will be python option so with this the official python extension from microsoft so we are going to install this so just click on this install option this is going to install this extension on our vs studio code and this extension is installed on our visual studio code and now this python extension is installed on our system so now let's create a python folder on our desktop and then we are going to open this folder so i'm going to create a python folder on my desktop and now i am going to open this folder using the open folder option then want to navigate to desktop and then python and then select the folder so this folder will be opened in my visual studio code editor okay so once this opens we are 
going to just create a new python file so i am going to just click on this option which says new file or you can right click and then say new file and then i am going to just say hello.py which is the extension for python right which is going to tell visual studio code that it is a python file and now i am going to just say print and then inside the parenthesis i am going to just write hello world and then i am going to save this my python file by using control s and here i want to install one more extension which is code runner which will help us to run the code in terminal so first of all select the extension option and then in search bar we have to search code runner so here is the code runner now we are going to install this extension now you can see our code runner is installed and here you can see the run button where we can run our code so let's see yeah it's working so this is how you can set python developer environment on vs studio core or visual studio code i hope you enjoy this video and if you enjoy it, then subscribe this channel and share this video to your friend. Thank you.